The quality of combat sports depends on its champions. Because USC titles are frequently transferred throughout the course of a year, maintaining a division is a difficult undertaking. The USC now boasts 12 champions, a mix of newcomers, dominant reigns, and competitors encircled by sharks vying for the ultimate prize. From worst to finest, these are the current UFC champions in order of ranking. Sterling Aljamain, bantamweight despite having the title, most fans do not consider Aljamain Sterling to be the UFC bantamweight champion. His reign was always going to be contentious because he won the world title through disqualification at UFC 259 after Pierre Jijian gave him an illegal knee. Jan returned to the octagon at UFC 267, defeating Corey Sanagin to take the interim title and set up the unification match for UFC 273 in April, while Sterling healed from his injuries. Given how the first bout went, it would be difficult to argue that Sterling will defeat Jan if they face off again, which would make his status as the true UFC champion momentarily obsolete. Juliana Pena at USC 269, Juliana Pena achieved one of the biggest upsets in USC history by defeating Amanda Nunes via submission in the second round, following a 2-2 record in her previous fights. Pena will start their rematch as a significant underdog despite her amazing performance against Nunes, which is somewhat expected considering that Nunes has long been the best female fighter in the USC. Given that the two are slated to coach the upcoming season of The Ultimate Fighter, Nunes's quest to regain her title has a significant impact on Pena's reign as the world champion. Deefson Figueiredo Flyweight, it seemed like Deefson Figueiredo would rule the flyweight category for a while after he submitted Joseph Benavidez in the opening round to win the title. But at USC 256, Brandon Moreno surprised everyone by surprising everyone by challenging the champion to a draw and winning their rematch by submission. Even though Moreno lost the title to Infigurado at UFC 270, their 1-1-1 record against one another makes their fourth bout seem very important, not to mention Infigurado's hold on the division isn't as firm as it was after he initially took home the global title in 2020 given the presence of competitors like Oscar Askarov. Glover Teixeira, mild to heavy Glover Teixeira, 42, had one of the most heartwarming moments of the previous year when he became the 42nd UFC champion. With his victory over Jan Blakowicz at UFC 267, Teixeira became the oldest UFC champion ever. It was surprising to see Teixeira put together the winning streak that would make him a world champion despite his background and experience in the sport. It will be interesting to watch how long Teixeira can hold the championship since Yuri Prohaska is the next in line, while Alexander Rakic, Magomed Ankaliv, and the previous champion Jan Blakowicz are all just behind the champion in the standings. Rose Namajunas Precarious Rose Namajunas is another champion and a superb fighter, but she faces serious competition. Like Figueiredo Namajunas' prior reign, during which it was predicted she would rule the division for years to come, had a significant impact on her current reign as champion. However, she lost in her second title defense. Namajunas once again demonstrated her class by defeating Wiley Zhang in back-to-back -back fights. As a result, she is in a far stronger position than the competitors listed below her. Namajunas has the potential to live up to her promise of ruling the division, but she will face a significant challenge in her upcoming championship defense. Charles Oliveira one of the greatest career turnarounds in UFC history will be Charles de Bronx Oliveira's lightweight run. Oliveira has entered his last two fights against Chandler and Poirier as the underdog despite his amazing recent form. Despite his outstanding results in his recent fights, he faces a serious challenge from being in what is maybe the UFC's most loaded division. Oliveira might enter his next two fights as the underdog once more facing off against Justin Gaethje first with Islam Makachev presumably right behind him. Although he'd has shown a lot thus far, there are always fresh obstacles in the lightweight division. Francis Ganu, heavyweight after defeating Cyril Gan, Stipe Myosik's greatest rival, and capturing the title earlier this year, Francis Ngannou is currently riding high in his division. The variables that are still unknown to us, such as the details of Ngannou's conflict with the UFC, and the impending arrival of John Jones, pose the greatest threats to him. Francis easily defeated every opponent in his path to the rematch with Myosik, securing his title as champion in the process. After dominating most of the heavyweight division's best fighters, 
Ganu had no imminent threats, thus until Jones eventually made a comeback. Amanda Nunez The USC women's featherweight division has been the least active weight class in the promotion. After the division was put together for the arrival of Chris Cyborg, its lack of contenders has stopped it from flourishing. When Nunes became a double champion at USC 232, she was able to defend both titles because of how few fighters there were to challenge her at featherweight. The only remaining challenge of any notice to Nunes at featherweight is Kayla Harrison, who isn't even in the USC right now, so her status as champion has almost no threat whatsoever. The lack of competition in the division has somewhat damaged its credibility, but Nunes is without a doubt a dominant champion. Alexander Volkanovsky Unbeaten since his first loss in 2013, Alexander Volkanovsky has ascended up the pound-for-pound -pound rankings as his incredible UFC run continues to grow. If you take one man out of the division, there's even an argument for Volkanovsky being the top champion on the list given how impressive he has been against the other contenders. When you put Max Holloway back into the mix, who in many people's eyes won the second fight with Volkanovski, their third fight has to happen despite the champion winning the first two fights. With Holloway and Volkanovski being the clear two featherweights in the division, the third fight with Max will solidify Volkanovski's place as a dominant champion. Israel Adesanya, middleweight undefeated when fighting at middleweight, Israel Adesanya has been one of the best examples of delivering on the hype. Valentina Shevchenko With Valentina Shevchenko's entry into the flyweight division, she took firm control of it. She defeated every elite challenger in the division to capture the vacant championship six times since December 2018 after defeating Joanna Young Jacek in a match at USC 231. Valentina Shevchenko has demonstrated that she is far superior to the other competitors by defeating the other five ladies in the division. She is still eager to show herself against the best and willing to do so repeatedly. However, Shevchenko's return to a higher weight class is what many fans are really interested in seeing happen. Kamaru Usman Since his second-ever professional bout, Kamaru Usman, the current UFC champion, is unbeaten in the pound-for-pound -pound division. He has a 19-fight winning streak, 15 of which have been in the UFC and he has defeated a who's who of the best prospects in a weight class full with skill. Osman has begun to add finishes to his resume, building on his supremacy in wrestling with better striking under Trevor Whitman's tutelage. Osman is improving with each fight, as seen by his two outstanding matches against Colby Covington and his victories over Gilbert Burns and Georgia Masvidal. The only intriguing alternatives left for Osman at welterweight are rematches or the uncertainty surrounding Hamzat Shumayev, as he is scheduled to defend his championship against Leon Edwards, a man he already defeated in 2015. He has already faced off against some of the best fighters in the business, and he has impressively prevailed in each rematch thus far. It's difficult to see anyone challenging the Nigerian nightmare for the title of best fighter in the UFC at this point.